Hello guys, today I want to present a new Laravel UI set of components called Sheaf UI. Inspired by ShadCN UI and built with tall stack, I will demonstrate it to you in this video. So we'll try to take LiveWire default starter kit login screen and transform it to something like this. A bit similar, the details will be different, but this will be the code of Sheaf UI instead of Flux. So you will understand the basics how Sheaf works. And by the way, I apologize for my voice, have a little bit of a cold, but still want to deliver the value and shoot this video. So to use Sheaf UI in your project, you need to install Compose Require their CLI, and then each component, you go to the documentation of that component and do Sheaf install of that component, and then use it something like this xui dot whatever is the component and then additional options so let's do exactly that in this video i will demo the installation so i have a project with default livewire starter kit installed and then i go composer require which is successful and then we need to also run sheaf init which will ask a few questions install package no set up live wire no we already have that set up dark mode no and then let's leave everything as defaults so yeah seems successful and now let's try to change flux button to a button from sheaf ui for example this button let's run this command copy paste to here and now we have the file resources views components UI, install dependencies, okay. And now if we open the login blade file responsible for the login form, there's flux input and flux library from LiveWire starter kit, including flux button. But now we have resources views components UI button, and we have even two buttons index and abstract. So we can replace flux button with x ui button so i clicked tab and didn't change anything else let's comment out the flux option and i will also run npm run dev and leave it in the background so we will not need to recompile every time and let's see what we have so this is our button let's zoom in and let's refresh and this is the button with x ui which comes from that sheaf library in this fashion we can change flux link here flux input and others so for example flux input for email becomes i will paste it from my notes something like this ui field label and input all of them i have installed behind the scenes and if we comment that one out and we refresh our page it doesn't look different at all but it's powered by a library which gives you the freedom of components in your resources views so it's not in vendor you can do whatever you want here also you may choose some options for example in button index we can take a look what options do we have for example there's variant primary but you can change the button to other variants let's see what others do we have if we scroll down below match variant we have primary we have solid soft and others so let's change that from this one primary to if we scroll down variant primary let's change that to solid and this would be the example of solid button and then you can browse the set of components here on the left pretty big one but not all of the components from like basic ones are implemented for example i haven't found checkbox so instead of checkbox you could potentially use something like switch toggle this component and then later i found on their homepage there's a link to roadmap where checkbox is already work in progress also in addition to components in the docs you may find starter kit so laravel starter kit which you can use like this will give you a laravel project with authentication using that sheaf ui let's try it out so this will be the prompt laravel new starter using that starter kit i prefer past there was some warning above about lock file this may be okay also another warning php unit is not required but probably that's fine let's see if it's successful another warning something with tests yml maybe that is also not crucial i'm not sure but i will install npm dependencies and let's see so let's launch starter.test and we have that home page similar to what their sheaf ui home page is but then login and register is powered by sheaf ui which looks pretty good or at least totally different than default starter kit so if you want something unique to not be another project with the same starter kit you may go with starter kit by sheaf ui 
So yeah, overall, first impression is pretty good new library of Laravel UI components. And also there are more libraries totally free or at least partially free. And recently we updated a tutorial on Laravel Daily, free tutorial, Laravel UI kits. So we've retested the ones that we had earlier and also added Shift to the list. And now we have six libraries on our active radar. These ones which are described and shown briefly in this tutorial. So I will link that in the description below. It's free, no membership required. And also I'm thinking maybe I should dive deeper into one of these and create kind of a full project, almost like a course probably because it will take a lot of time. So it wouldn't be just login form or register form, but the full project instead based on some of those components from library. So which one should I choose then? Or what other ideas do you have around content for Laravel and UI components, libraries, and designs? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.